Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Elden Ring. Here we are in the Waypoint Ruins. Well, underneath the Waypoint Ruins, we just uh, killed the Mad Pumpkin Head, and we've just discovered a new NPC that we haven't even talked to. But before we do that, quick look at the stats. Still level 32. Seems like we're only leveling every <laughs> three or four episodes, which is, it seems slow for this type of game. But I can level up now unless this person is going to sell me some stuff, which let's be honest, they're probably going to sell me some stuff. So let's find out who this individual is and hope against hope it's a, it's a sorcery, a, a learned sorcerer, I should say. Tarnished, are we? No wonder you should turn up here. I am Salem, a sorcerer, quite plainly. Why are you here? I, I definitely do want to learn sorcery. She sounds a little bit like the Yennefer actress from the witcher show but also that is a mask she's wearing right it is i mean it, it's she's wearing a mask that's really interesting ah, a yen for glimstone sorceries well your aptitude does appear passable but one must choose one's masters wisely i was exiled from the academy of rea lucaria as a reviled apostate witch do you still wish to learn from me okay i still want to learn or let me reconsider she said they have to choose your master carefully i wonder who i'm going to offend by choosing her but yeah i do still want to learn <laughs> well you are a piece of work very well you are now my protege in glimstone sorcery but i refuse to coddle or cast kind words. Never. Anticipate grievances, young apprentice. And I can give a scroll. Ooh, not in thought. I like that. Give a scroll. Well, first, let's just see what she says. Or sells. All right. Glintstone Pebble. Glintstone Stars. Fires three shooting stars that pursue foes. Ooh, pursuers. I love it. Sorcery of the Al Alivinus Conspectus, which attracts sorcerers from Celia, Town of Sorcery. Now, we've been there. We, well, okay. Correction. We've run through there terrified. That was right in between the, well, there was the Celia Tunnels, and then there was the Caled Wastelands, or the Caled Wilds, and the Celia Town of Sorcery was right there. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Glintstone Arc. We have Crystal Barrage. Sorcery of the Crystal Cadra, a group of sorcerers who pursue the wisdom of stone, the secrets locked in the final cogitation of the Crystallians. <laughs> okay. And that takes 23 intelligence. That's not that bad, though. That's not that bad. Now, I'm, I'm very curious. I've said this before, and I don't know why the... Oh, charging increases potency. Wait a minute. You can charge a... a sorcery now this says 14 fp and then in parentheses two i wonder if charging requires an extra two maybe that's what that is but that seems really cool i i dig that oh this actually enchants right hand armaments with magic damage sorcery can be cast while in motion taught to the knights of the cuckoo by the academy as payment for the contract knights of the cuckoo we have the cuckoo glintstones and Scholar's Shield. So this is going to be like Magic Shield, right? Enhances left hand shield damage negation. Oh, very cool. Ooh, what do I want? Oh, man. I want a level, but <laughs> I also want these. But let's also give her a scroll. Oh, is that a scroll? Takes me back to my academy days. Very well. Hmm, this is sorcery with which I'm not entirely unfamiliar. I'll be sure to incorporate it into one of your lessons. Never lose that inquisitive spirit, my apprentice. Okay, so now she sells Swift Glintstone Shard. Fire Swiftly fires magic projectile from Glintstone. It's cheap. It's only 3 FP per cast. Wow, I never realized. So how much is Arc? Arc is 10. Pebble is 7. And this is 3. That's cheap. And then there's the Great Glintstone Shard. Fires a larger magic projectile. So that's 12 versus the 7. Can be cast repeatedly and while in motion. And says, those unworthy of the Stone Crown typically end their brief journey into sorcery here. 
Ooh, okay. I have 6,900. I would like great glintstone. I do want glintstone stars, even though I can't. No. Well, I do want glintstone stars, but I really want crystal barrage, which is cheap. And then I do have enough either for glintstone stars or scholar's armament, but I'm kind of thinking I want to do scholar's armament. Yeah. Ooh. Here's going to be a question. All right, let's buy that. And let's ask her about glintstone sourcing. And then I'm going to I'm going to ponder about the use of ashes of war skills plus weapon buffs. Our art draws upon the powers embedded in glintstone. But what is the nature of such power? Glintstone is the amber of the cosmos. Golden amber contains the remnants of ancient life and houses its vitality while glimstone contains residual life and thus the vitality of the stars it should not be forgotten that glimstone sorcery is the study of the stars and the life therein a fact lost on most sorcerers these days oh great very cool so let's rest Because I also wanted to... Let's see. Let's memorize a spell. Let's get rid of Starlight. Let's do... Mm, yeah, well, here's what we'll do. This is silly. Let's do that. But then let's also get rid of Glintstone Pebble and replace it with Great Glintstone Shard. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So, my... That's one of the things I wanted to do. Which was... Ash of War, I keep talking about it. I wanted to switch this to the Sacred Blade. Oh, and... S I already have Sacred. Kind of thinking... Let's see here. So, Standard, we're going to have to do some math real quick. Standard is 169 total AR... Heavy is 151. Keen is 170. So it's one point difference higher. And then Sacred, since that's going to scale with Faith, is not going to give me a whole lot. Let's just do, let's do Sacred Blade, but let's do a Keen Sacred Blade. And my curiosity is this. We need to now get my staff in this hand. In fact, let's put it where the torch is. And the torch can go here, just in case I do need it when I'm dungeon delving. And let's see, do that. We'll do that, and then we'll do a bow, okay. And hopefully I'm still gonna be in medium load. I think I should, oh, it's heavy load. Um, maybe we can, what's heavy? The vulgar militia armor is kind of heavy. Maybe I can drop down ever so slightly. Even the astrologer robe is heavy. Well, of course, those are going to be heavy. Hmm. I don't want to be heavy. I don't, but I kind of like... Well, you know what? That doesn't even make a difference. Because this weighs... Well, it weighs 1.5. Really? That's not enough to make a difference? These actually have weights, too. I hate... Why do these have weights? Come on, now. Um, this weighs 1.4. That's going to be the lightest I have. Traveler's gloves. Those are super light. And astrologist trousers are not the lightest, actually. I could do the traveler slops, which is a funny word. Or I could go down to cloth trousers. I hate it. I hate everything about it, but that's what we're going to roll with for now. So anyway, what I was thinking was, can I do this? Sacred Blade, which is awesome, and then Scholar's Armament. And what is my AR currently? 280. I don't know. That seems pretty cool. Oh, and I love the little particle effects. All right. Now that we are a third of the way through this episode already, let's go play around. Let, we're going to go topside. I want to go check out that one area just south of here where they were doing some mining to see if just maybe there's any upgrade materials there. 
And these guys are back, but I'm assuming... I have to assume that the chest is looted, right? Yeah, they're carrying an, <laughs> carrying an empty chest. Alright. Well, let's just ignore them. Wow, this buff actually seems to last a while. Nope. Oh. Relying way too heavily on my guard breaks or my guard counters. What? He actually just stopped his attack because I got behind him. That's interesting. Get some health back? Yeah. Ooh, that was a decent amount of health. More than I thought I would get. Stop it. Stop it. I'm yelling at me just as much. I actually would like to get a backstab just to top off. I know you're afraid. Oh, you guys are so sad. Hold on. Can I just use you for some health? Speaking of sad, that's a significant healing, actually. Yeah, I think they're just ruined fragments. Yes, they are. Although, what's this? Smoldering butterfly. Sorry, pal. I just had to top off just a little bit. Really, really love that talisman. And you guys are also just mining some stuff. Honestly, you know, I, I feel bad for killing you, so I think I'll just let you go. There's another little convoy, though. So where am I? Let's let's keep heading south. Let's follow this road a little bit. And uh, we'll take them on. And let's see. It's kind of heading to that tree, right? There's another giant crab -o. Those ruins could be kind of cool. Oh, I missed. Come on now. Chase him. Oh, whatever. <laughs> that was so terrible in every sense of the word. Hey, you're back. That's good damage. Oh, poor guy. Oh, I'm really starting to get into... I, I'm not going to call it a build, goodness no, but I am really starting to get into what this looks like. Um, People just standing up on these buildings. Not, I don't think they're friendly. No, no. I kind of hate when they run away. It makes me feel a little guilty. I'm still going to kill them. Oh, aristocrat boots, huh? Can I wear those? No? Come on. <laughs> oh, got a fort situation. But I can summon. You know what? Should we have some fun here? Jellyfish time? No. Skeleton time. Here we go. Yeah, I know you see me. Oh, wowza. That was beautiful. Less beautiful, less beautiful. You guys are doing great. All right, let's just rush in there, kill what we can. Backstab for the health. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna stay topped off like this. Well, what was the point of that? Huh, is that gonna end well for you or anyone? Backstab, just for fun. 
Uh, my skeletons are doing great. Oh, I saw a big guy who's looking to join the hunt. Oh. Okay. How about this? Staying topped off with this is just such a cool mechanic. Look at this, though. They just get right back up. They just get right back up. Oh, I love it. Oh, maybe one died finally. Really? No, they didn't. Now, oh, and their health actually completely regenerated. Oh. Come on now. Do I have to torrent? Ooh, hold on. No, don't don't leave the area yet, Blue. I know, you saw Shiny. Just stay with it. Stay the course. Ahem. <laughs> Stop it. All right. So what do we have here? Another scroll? Oh, yes. How perfect is that timing? I just found my learned sorceress. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's head, let's just go kill this one. And that's, well, not quite the end of them. There's some other commoners that are not doing so hot. Can I maybe get a backstab on you just to get some health? Uh, almost. Although, where is that other one I just saw? Oh, a couple more. All right, let's just do a little loot. I think I already had those soldier greaves. All right. It's, it must not be fully clear. Because my skeletons are fading away, but treasure chest. Great Ape, or Epie, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. That's a rapier, though. Which, I am kind of a dex user. But it requires 15 strength. What in the world? <laughs> Made for thrusting attacks and can be used while guarding with a shield. What kind of critical does it have? No critical modifier? Really? Slightly disappointing. Does this have a name, by the way? This does not. All right, let's go grab that other shiny I saw then. Yeah, that's truly disappointing. Do the rapiers in general not? Oh, looks like two, uh, two glowing skulls. Hmm. So what do we have here? This almost looks like not like a satellite. This is some sort of astrological monument or device. And we got Starlight Charge, which I think we have gotten before. Right? Yeah, that's our second one. Prized item once used in Eternal City. I probably should use those, but they seem valuable. Ooh. Ooh. What is this? What is that? That's a new area. We're not going to go into a new area just yet. But I wonder if those worms over there are guarding another one of those jails. Oop. Item at the base of this crucifix. Golden rune. Oh, careful. That was almost a death. All right. Time for torrent. Because we're just going to hop in here. And we're going to hop right back up. <laughs> Go this way. Eh, there is another jail. All right. Also, there's smoke over there, though. Let's go do the jail. Let's go do the jail. Hopefully successfully. And then we will go and investigate that smoke. Forlorn Hound Ever Jail. Let's do it. Oh, 
Um, let's prepare, by the way. Ooh, don't forget our flask of wondrous physic. Is someone gonna be summoned? Bloodhound Knight Darwill. Looks like an Irithyll Knight. Or it looks like... No, it's like a Corvian. Ooh, a lot of dit. Whoa, okay. Okay. Let's use that. Uh, tell you what. Do we want to use, like, a Cuckoo Glintstone? Because that could be fun. No. Oh, good damage, though. Run. Run. Alright. Hmm. I gotta stop timing these attacks that poorly. Ooh, blood loss. Alright, about half. I... Ooh, shoot. I don't think I've found a side of grace in a while. <laughs> Bloodhound Knight Darrow. Oh, there's a stake of grace, though. Thank goodness. So what we need to do is just get in there and buff. We'll just do our buffs. Oh, and look. Makes sense, but runes actually stay on the outside. I like that. So I'm going to try and combine these. I don't know if it actually is. I'll have to do a test. See if we can do this quick enough to actually test it while we're in here. Okay, my AR is 171. And now it is 256. Oh, it, I think it I think it does even. 280. It does. It stacks. Fantastic. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't block a single thing. Not a single thing. Am I going to get those claws? I'm not, I'm not a big fist weapon kind of guy in these games, but maybe I could be persuaded. I wonder, do shields actually have any sort of blood resistance? Doesn't seem so. No. Okay. That's a shame. That'd be cool. Oh, you know what we should do, though? Alright. I have an idea. We're going to buff. We're going to buff. We're going to buff. Finally use our Baldekins. Okay, just one hit. Okay. Good. I mean, my damage is there. It's just so is his. Oh, heavens. Now, okay. The problem with blood loss is that it instantly makes you put your shield down, which makes sense. I'm not upset about that, but I need to keep that in mind. Even though the blood loss doesn't kill me, it's going to kill me. Because I'm not going to be guarding anymore. Hmm. Do I have any... I know I have things that can cure blood loss. Or at least I think I do. Let's see. Maybe I can't craft anything. Does... Ro well, I don't even have any golden rawa anyway. So that doesn't matter. Stamina recovery. Do I have anything that I can eat... Um, I mean, there's alleviates impending blood loss. But it doesn't actually improve your resistance to it. I could use Exalted Flesh. No, because it's not my damage. My damage isn't the problem. It's just my staying power. All right. Back at Did I forget to grab my runes? Am I at zero now? Oh, you doofus. <laughs> How many levels could I have had if I just remembered to go pick those up? got that we've got that and just trying to see what I can uh, 
what I can try and punish. That one, apparently. Ooh. Oh, that's a cool attack he does. Nice, good. Look for the punishing attacks. Okay, so that has that follow-up, all right. Okay, watch the jump. Oh, double punish, beautiful. That should have been a punish. I think we've got this. How about if I can finish him off like this? That'd be cool. And there we go. All right. Oh, cool armor. Really cool armor. Bloodhound's Fang. Did I just get another bleed weapon? Because I am all about that. All about. All right. Forgot it. Teleport you right away. Although, I don't know if it's gonna... I don't know if it's gonna replace my beautiful Reduvia. Bloodhound's Fang... 18... Sh oh, it's a curved greatsword, that's why. Okay. It does do blood buildup. Bloodhound... So that's a Bloodhound Knight, which makes sense. Bloodhound's Finesse. Slash upwards with the Bloodhound's Fang, using the momentum of the strike to perform a backward somersault and gain some distance from foes. Follow up with a strong attack to perform the Bloodhound Step Attack. Ooh. Oh, I don't know. That could be cool. That could be really cool. Anyway, what did we say we're going to do? We're going to go take a look at that smoke we just saw. Also, is that a bit of a... Look at that moon. Oh, I'm looking the wrong way. That's not where I wanted to look. All right, let's just get on Torrent. Make it a little easier. I just wanted to see if there was something with this smoke that was just over here. So that statue right over there, to give you an idea, that is where we came out of the tutorial. So the first steps, Grace, is right over there. Ooh, there's, there's a lot yet to see over here, isn't there? A lot yet to see. Okay, but there's a little... That actually might be a merchant let's go take a look yeah I'm not really concerned about you all sorry oh what is this battle going on and how can I get involved I have an idea like this Oh, that doesn't actually go through. All right, let's do a little glintstone, uh, great glintstone. Mm. Okay, good damage. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. What if you could actually take sides? That'd be pretty cool. But nothing for that, huh? No one stops and says, oh, thank you for rescuing me because these guys are a bunch of big doo-doo heads. That's, that's the type of dialogue you could expect if I were to ever make a game. No. Sliver of meat. Gross. Why? game why would I want that all right it's just about time to wrap up but I want to take just a quick look around all right you let's fight on horseback let's let's run away on horseback now okay how do I I guess you can't actually shoot sorceries ah you can all right I was wondering if you had to actually have it in your right hand does not seem to be the case 
Also, doesn't seem to do that much more damage. Yeah, it's so expensive. All right, time to time to get out of here. Come on. Oh, you. Just stay still. There we go. <laughs> we got him. We got him. Got a flashback. So this is the Agia Lake. That's the Dragon Ruins. And I was just curious if there's anything under here. Kind of looks like where I would put a cave if I was a cave maker. Oh, no, it's just an archway. Oh, but, but, but. Oh, it's Yura. Okay, let's end by talking to Yura. Beautiful work. Felling that dragon. And as such, there's something you might like to know. The heart you brought back. It's used in dragon communion. If you should find yourself overcome by hunger for the heart, yearning for its strength, then seek the decrepit church on a little island off the western coast. You must not forget, though, those who partake in Dragon Communion will one day shed their humanity, their hunger for Dragon, their yearning. Only worsens until the floodgates burst, unleashing eternal torment, the strength of a mighty Dragon. Magnificent, but deadly. It's no surprise that Dragon Communion is ruinous. Well, so you're actually telling us now something we already knew, but still very cool. Oh, lost sight of crates. Let's grab that. And that's where we're going to end the episode. Yeah, I like they were getting that uh, that information because we encountered him in that invasion, which is pretty cool, which is very sweet indeed. Also, that looks awesome over there and I want to go to it. But anything we're going to do is going to have to wait till next time. We still have to go get that glintstone key. But for now... Definitely don't have enough to level up, so let's not even worry about it. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying. Hope you're playing the game yourself, because it's fantastic. And I'll see you all next time.